<laughs> hey everybody, it's Jerry here, and I know it's been a while since I actually talked about the series, the Crash Bandicoot series on camera, and I just want to let y'all know that I am streaming at the moment, so when you're done watching this, go ahead to the stream, make a Twitch account, it takes like a minute or two less than five minutes just go there chat chill laugh whatever if you try to be funny aka ignorant then i mean whatever i guess but yeah i'm gonna be streaming let's go fuck around and chill or whatever so everyone um as we all know super smash brothers was just revealed yesterday with a little teaser with the inklings the inklings will now be playable characters in the game which is cool this is a new iteration i do not think that this is a port i believe that this is a new game entirely that was just worked on under wraps by sakurai as he did go silent working on a secret project back then um but yeah so crash bandicoot and super smash brothers now i believe that there's a higher chance that he will be in but before i get to that i want to mention that there have been three times this being a new one obviously where i've actually discussed about this there was years ago when i talked about how i just wanted him in me spood beast and a former friend of mine uh wanted him in just because he was a third party character and you know, he had games on the DS, the Game Boy Advance, the Wii, and the GameCube. Um, and then there was a second time where I discussed on how it would be cool that he was if he was in Smash Brothers for Wii U. But people wouldn't want to buy Wii U for him being in Smash Brothers. They'd rather buy a PS4 for him being in All-Stars 2. But now the situation is kind of turned and twisted a bit where now Crash Bandicoot is on a new Nintendo platform with his own game in the series. Uh, the Insane Trilogy was just confirmed and revealed to be on the Nintendo Switch yesterday, which is cool. It's also gonna be on multiple platforms, so expect videos on me playing the Insane Trilogy uh, with a few ideas if I can, you know, make them come into fruition uh, on the PC version to be exact. Um, I'm not gonna discuss what ideas I have or an idea I have for it, because, you know, I don't want nobody stealing my sh fucking idea or whatever, but yeah. In particular, the Switch version, when it comes to the Switch version, this definitely increases the chances of the character being in Super Smash Brothers now. Um, he was on the Game Boy, the DS, the Wii, the GameCube, and now he's on the Nintendo Switch. You know, we all remember Cloud Strife getting into Super Smash Brothers. We all remember Ryu getting in. We all remember Mega Man getting in. We all rem remember Pac-Man getting in. Um, it's practically a given that Sonic is never going to leave the Smash Brothers series. He will be in the next Smash Brothers for sure. There's no reason why he shouldn't be in. But, in regards to Crash Bandicoot in particular, I think it would be amazing if the character was side by side with two iconic, other iconic characters that he brought up with back in the 90s within that era. I think it would be very heartwarming for people to see that, and I know people in the Crash fan base um, are a bit particular when it comes to the whole design thing. Now, knowing Sakurai is most likely either going to go with the Naughty Dog Crash Bandicoot design, or the twin sanity one or a mixture of both but he will have a move set that's a mixture of classic as well as titans i think i think in order to add a character into a game you have to look back on the resources so you capture things that are as close to the character as much as possible so then they are fitting for that game so i think that it would just make sense if they would take some things from titans slash mutant era and mix it up with the classic and stuff i don't think it would be bad i don't know why people would think it would be bad people are just excessively passionate or no excessively fucking nitpicky and they complain too much but whatever so yeah crash bandicoot super smash brothers i think is definitely possible i don't know i'm still like i'm trying to imagine it because of the fact that we got crash on the switch now and i don't know i just i just think it's really 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 sweet that a lot of people get to experience what people experienced on the playstation one uh, back then with the original three and I've also seen people talk about how like or I've seen someone in my comment section on the insane trilogy on switch reaction video I did wondering like oh those greedy you know Activision's greedy why are they doing this why are they putting it on multiple platforms it's like dude okay listen and this is for people that actually don't know if you don't have this knowledge well I'm here to give it to you Activision owns the Crash Bandicoot series and they own the insane trilogy Sony owns Sony owns the original Crash Bandicoot games on the PlayStation 1. I don't, I'm not too sure about Crash Bash, but besides that, they own the original three. They own the original three. They do not own the IP. Activision owns the IP. Sony does not. So, uh, Activision owns the Insane Trilogy. Therefore, they can put that title on multiple platforms as much as they want because they own the entire IP. 
Now, if Activision was putting the, if they were publishing the Insane Trilogy on the, I'm not Insane Trilogy, oh my god. If they were publishing the original three games on the Switch, that would be a problem. That would be an issue, but they don't own those games. They don't own the original three, so that's why they were able to put the Insane Trilogy on the Nintendo Switch, the PC, and the Xbox One. So there you go. But yeah, um, that's it. That's all I can really say, for real. Um, there's actually one more thing I want to talk about, and I feel like this video's gone on long enough and good enough for me, because I don't want to fuck this up with what I have to talk about next, but... I do have something planned. It might or might not come into fruition. If I don't talk about it on YouTube, then I'll definitely talk about it on Twitch because, you know, YouTube's been very difficult these days for, uh, for a nigga, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm streaming. Come over to the stream. The link will be down in the description below. Make a Twitch account. It takes, like, less than three minutes, less than a minute. Uh, follow me there. Sub, donate, do whatever. You know, just chill, chat, laugh. You know, try to be funny, I guess, a.k.a. try to be, I mean, you can be ignorant and... You know, you might just get banned or whatever, but, you know, you're better off doing something else if you don't really give a fuck and you just want to be an asshole. But, yeah, this video's gone on long enough. I'll see y'all later, and y'all have yourselves a good one. Deuces.